guys. So today I'm going to be doing the five minute makeup challenge. I've seen quite a few YouTubers do this and I think it's a really great video to watch, especially if you ever have those mornings where you're really late for class or late for work or whatever it is and you have a really short amount of time to do your makeup. This is something that can give you a really good idea of what you can do and you know what bases you might need to cover first if you're really, really pressed for time. So I have a stopwatch here on my computer in front of me and since I am going to be doing this as fast as I possibly can, I'm not gonna show you all the products um, in real life, but I'll try and like put like some product photos like somewhere around my face or something so you can see the products that I'm using. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to accomplish this, but I'm definitely going to do my very best. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start the clock now. All right, so I'm gonna start off with foundation. I'm using the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, but feel free to use whatever foundation you like. Since this is a water-based foundation, you do have to shake it, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. So if you're really pressed for time, that can be kind of frustrating. But um, I would say if you're looking for a drugstore alternative, I would recommend the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. It's kind of like the same idea where it gives like a really natural finish but you don't have to shake it as much and it's not nearly as expensive. So I'm just putting this on my face and just really blending it in. I think whenever I'm pressed for time, I prefer to use my hands just because using a brush, um, it's more detailed and it gives probably a nicer finish, but it takes a lot longer. So I'm totally cool with just using clean hands. Need a hurry. Uh, I'm already at like a minute and I barely put on any foundation. Gotta go a little faster. Just a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead and... It would probably be a lot easier if your hair was out of your face too. I didn't really think about that. The warmth from your hands is a really great, you know, tool to have because it helps your foundation blend a little bit better. And as you can tell, this foundation doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it gives a really natural finish, which is something that I like to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, at this point, you could conceal. I'm not going to just because my dark circles aren't really that horrible. I'm not really that worried about it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move right along to eyeshadow. So, eyeshadow I'm gonna be using is MAC Woodwinked Eyeshadow, which is just a really pretty shimmery gold, and I'm using a Sigma E25. So I'm gonna swirl that in, and then just place that on the lid, into the crease, and do the same on the other eye. Uh, how am I doing on time? Oh my gosh, I have two minutes and 40 seconds, holy crap. Oh man, I just got that everywhere. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a matte flesh tone color. Um, I have it in my Z palette, but I don't wanna show you. And I'm just going to put that on my brow bone above that, kind of blend that out. Cool. I'm trying to see if there's a brow brush around here. There is not. So I'm just gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna take some matte black eyeshadow and push that into my lash line. Focusing more so on the outer half of my lash line. I'm not really worried about the inner corner right now. That should be pretty good. Go ahead and blend out the front of that with my finger. Cool. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Oh my gosh, a minute and 35 seconds. Oh my God, did I just get eyeshadow all over my cheek? Ah! Get that off, that's horrible. Ugh, okay. Cool. Woo. So now I'm gonna go ahead and powder. So I'm going to take Mac Studio Fix and my Real Techniques powder brush. And this is huge, which is great because I really could use a big brush, cover more space quickly. Awesome. And that also provides just a little bit more coverage. 
Then I'm gonna take a blush brush from Real Techniques. I have 50 seconds, and I'm taking my Tarte Part Avenue Princess Bronzer, swirling that on the outer edges of my face. Not really contouring, just adding some color. Not too much, though. Okay, and then taking another blush brush and my Coralista blush, I'm gonna sweep that on my cheeks. Ah, I'm almost out of time. Oh my gosh, I have 30 seconds. Mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Oh my gosh, there's hair, there's hair. Okay, ooh, 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Eight seconds, holy crap. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then lastly, Revlon Lip Butter. Oh crap. Mm. Okay, okay, we're good. Time's up. Okay, we'll take a look. So, my eyeshadow is not incredibly blended, but I'd say in general, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna blend that really quickly so that doesn't bother me. In general, I don't think that's too bad. So, that's kind of the finished look. Um, sorry for any little mishaps here and there. So that is the five minute makeup challenge. That was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I had some black eyeshadow or mascara on my eyelash curler and that actually got black stuff on my cheek, which really posed as an issue. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you this really quickly. Yesterday, I filmed this video and my phone went off, but I couldn't find my phone. It was underneath some of my makeup on my desk, so I was trying to like dig for it because it kept ringing and going off in the middle of my challenge. And I tried to get it and I was really frantic and then I actually knocked over my camera. It's really, really devastating. I had to completely start over the next day. So that was really scary. But regardless, I think it worked out a lot better this time. Um, you know, this I think is a pretty decent everyday look. It's definitely a very neutral, nothing really too crazy. So just a couple things to take from this. First of all, applying lip color is something that really, really ties a look together. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but if you have like a really, really neutral eye and you wanna brighten up your complexion, just have slapping on a lip color, especially one of those tinted um, lip balm type products. So the Revlon Lip Butters, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains, the Clinique Chubby Sticks, they're all great options, especially the Clinique Chubby Stick just because they are layerable, but they're not initially super, super saturated, so I literally could just apply it and then not worry about it because it's a tinted lip product as opposed to, you know, being, you know, just a regular lip product. So, like, it would go on pretty, really neutral, but you can also, you know, layer it up if you like, if you really want the color to be super saturated. So that's really great for on the go. I actually remember last year when I would bike to school, I would actually apply my lip color using the Clinique Chubby Stick while I was biking to school, and I, I literally didn't have to worry about what it looked like because um, it's such, you know, it's just a tinted lip balm and it's not so crazy as opposed to if you were to put on a bright matte red lip color, that would be really scary. You would definitely need a mirror and you would have to take time with that. So I think that's a really great thing to take from this. Also for eyeshadow, when you don't necessarily want to, you know, apply a bunch of different colors, you don't want to, you know, take a, take time to apply like a darker color in your crease or a lighter shimmery color on your lid or whatever. Honestly, just get a shimmery color, like this metallic-y kind of color, woodwinked especially, because this color changes so much depending on the light. So like when you catch it in the light like that, it's really, really bright, but then the second there, there's a shadow, it looks significantly darker. So that's really great to blend into your crease because it looks like you might have, you know, eyeshadow, like darker eyeshadow blended into your crease when really you only used one real color. So Woodwinked is a really great option. You could definitely find some awesome metallic drugstore options. Um, Woodwinked is definitely like a fan favorite. If you want like a shimmery brown, I would recommend getting the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio. That's a really great one. Um, if you want to go for more cooler, taupier colors, I would say Silent Treatment Trio from Wet n Wild would be great. You know, great shadows, definitely just as pigmented and blendable as the MAC Woodwink shadow, but a lot cheaper and more easily accessible, especially if you are on a student budget. That's a lot easier for you to, you know, buy. Looking back, I wish I had just skipped bronzer just because I didn't really need it, but blush, I think, is a great, you know, thing to opt for, especially if you get, kind of like that same idea, if you get like a shimmery blush, like Coralista, I've done an entire video on this before, but it's really, really shimmery. So this doubles as a blush and a highlight, so it not only gives color back to your cheeks, but also gives a really glowy effect, 
which is really nice, I think, all year round. So again, I have ranted about this in my other videos as well. Um, but curling your eyelashes really opens up your eyes and your eyes are kind of one of the main focal points of your face So having you know really really awake eyes is something that really helps um, Accentuating your lash line that doesn't necessarily mean applying liquid liner or doing like a cat eye or anything Honestly, just a little bit of dark shadow. It doesn't even have to be black It could be brown if maybe you're blonde or if you want to go for like a lighter more natural look you know applying like a matte brown eyeshadow on your um, outer half of your lash line would you know really help your eyelashes out helps them stand out and again opens up your eyes and aids them when you curl and put mascara on them so those are just kind of my pointers if you're ever running late for school or for work or anything or in general you just don't want to spend a whole lot of time on your makeup um, just yeah I would definitely recommend you know just doing those things especially and then anything else that you want to make extra time for you are more than welcome to so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see you know more details on the products that I use or the steps that I took I'll go ahead and link to the partner post on state press magazine in the doobly doo down below so um, also if you are new to my channel and you haven't already be sure to subscribe um, you can do so here or by clicking the little button above my head and um, yeah that way you can be updated on when I post new videos so I hope you guys are doing really well and that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later bye